Well, he has about a hundred dynamic photographs hanging on his walls at home, pictures depicting old homes, barns, and farm equipment that are now parts of the past. His name is Charlie Couples. As we see in Video Journal, he says it's all just a hobby. He travels the back roads in search of treasure, discarded barns, and anything old. How long have you been in the business of uh, kind of shooting old homes and old barns and stuff? Well, ever since I was a little kid, I've always fascinated me, but I've never had the urge to start taking pictures till a little over about two years ago, a little over two years. Uh, I just ride back roads, love to ride back roads, and sometimes I'll stumble upon something, and sometimes I have to put my rubber boots on to get to it or whatever, but I'm going to get to it one way or the other, especially something that's back in the uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s. Fascinates me. He says he's an amateur, but his photos disagree. A man with skill who captures yesterday, his photographs hanging on his wall like trophies. Age is just taking its time. Yes, sir. And most places they just fell me in and uh, whatever. The good example of that is the Holly Ridge Depot. Uh, I got a beautiful picture of it with a train coming by it and everything, you know, and it's glory. And it's not even there anymore. I mean, it's not there. It's tore down. It's gone forever. To Charlie Couples, the pictures are personal. Each photograph related to childhood memories. But we had a big barn, and that's where we kept all our feed. With his camera in hand and a vivid imagination, the man who snaps the shutter becomes one with the image. Makes you wonder who lived here, you know, what they were doing when they built this home in the first year they were in this home. You know, just your imagination can go either way with you there. It's just beautiful. And this one I like is because this was an old store back in the early 40s, and the people that owned the store lived in the back. They, I looked through the back and went in the back and had the kitchen utensil shelves and had the stove and uh, heater, uh, fireplace and everything in the back where they lived in the back. They didn't come up to the front and open the store up. Still had the sign up there, something other. It was rusted out or whatever, but it had grocery on it. And that just caught my eye. He narrates each photo like a kid from the past, barefooted in overalls, eager for supper. You can almost smell the cornbread cooking in that old house. It's simply a hobby. His traveling for treasure, a pastime that transports Charlie Couples to the pastime. Between Oak Ridge and Epps, Lewis Retton reporting. Thank you.